what is it going to be security <laughs> what exactly are we going to lose there, there, there's nothing that we're going to lose by asking this bunch of criminals to, to just... I think that's you know, the only thing we'll lose. We'll lose our chains. If we chase it, them. And, and if we, exactly, you know. And I... There's somebody making a comment in the... You know, stating something in the comment section about how, you know, um, if Afri if we don't get the protest right, you know, there'll be really colonization down the line and everything. I don't know, you know, I know that our people are hungry. My ego, and I know that our people are dissatisfied, you know, with regards to the things that are going on in that country or in that region. But I want to say that I'm not even sure it's I'm not even sure it's clear exactly what they're fighting for. And I say that because everything that we're going through, everything that we've gone through as a people, as a region, is is as a result of the indirect. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, how would I put it, influence of the establishment, right? We've been, we've been lied to and said that we've been given a democracy. You and I know we don't, this is not a democracy, right? We've been lied to and told that this is a country. You and I know that this is not a country, right? We've been, we've been lied to and told that we, we are citizens of a place, you know, and that we have what every other person in every other continent has. But we know it's a lie. We don't have any of that. We've been lied to and told that the, hero, the heroes that we have are the people we should look up to. They are all criminals. No, there are, there okay? no heroes among them. Billions, there are billions. no heroes among them. Mm. We only have criminals. Even, for example, I just want to highlight Dangote, right? Even they know that Dan Dangote is a criminal, but nobody calls him out. Because those people know fully well how he got his wealth. That his wealth is not generated by any serious enterprise. Or by monopoly and has been a beneficiary of the Nigerian state, right? They know that, but they still prop him up as you know one of the richest men in in Africa. That man is a criminal, they keep and they keep repeating that. it. Mm -hmm. They keep repeating it. They give us criminals and tell us to idolize them. Yes. It makes it easy for people to think that you know what this is what we need to do. This is what we this are, this is the this is these are the people we need to aspire to. Right, they've given us all of these things. Whilst they have people like Lincoln, uh, mm. Hamilton, and all of these people, you know, with all their illustrious history and everything, and everybody in America wants to be like them, you know, our founding fathers. When you when you hear them talking about their founding fathers with such pride, and then they give us criminals, right? Mm. So I want us to understand that what we are fighting for is not just to extricate ourselves from this bunch of criminals. We're fighting a kind of, to remove the shackles yes. from ourselves, a kind of racism that still exists, right? When people talk about, you know, we want Oduduwa nation or Biafra nation, it's because the geographical entity you call Nigeria is defined by others who are not Africans, who do not understand us, who do not appreciate our differences, our, you know, unique culture and all of that. And they do right? not even so, respect them. You know, you don't respect, I mean, you only respect something you acknowledge. They exactly. Do not acknowledge Fantastic. And they do not respect they, us. They don't acknowledge it. They do not respect us. They do not rate us. No. Right? I keep saying it, right? We are not we're not in the room where it happens. No. We're not on any table realistically. Right? We may think we are, but we know that we're not because we're always coming from a, you know, from a beggar's, you know, point, right? So what we're doing now, even if it is not successful, my God, and I, and I pray and I say that with, you know, with, with the belief that it will be successful. But, but that be positive should, enough that uh, it must be successful. It must be successful. There's so much I stage, believe. Child. You know that? There's so much at stake. Yes. Let's leave our differences People don't right. understand this it. This whole thing is right? affecting all of us. Anything that can at least put a break. People need a break. In a notion, we need a break. Let's forget all these things that we feel towards ourselves. My, my, my dear sister, people need a break. Anyone that can guarantee people, that, at least come on. It must people need, succeed. Yes. It, and I want it to succeed with all, with every fiber of my being because I know what it means for, for a revolution to succeed in that geographical mm -hmm. entity. Right, I know what that will mean for, for the people in that country, for the people in that entity, and for us in the diaspora. Right. I keep saying it and I, and I know maybe a lot of people don't feel the same way, but we're not meant to be here. 
realistically. We're not meant to be here. When you think about the sacrifices of our ancestors, and I and I and I say, for example, the Igbo landing. You know the story of the Igbo I landing. Do. These do. were people who they brought to that land. They said, "No, they we're not going to be here. In this we would rather die than be in this and place." This place. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And let me yeah. ask all of us who are in the, the diaspora. We've really shamed our ancestors because all of us sit down in one place and say, well, I'm a British citizen, I've got a British certificate, I mean, what they got, a British passport, I'm a, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a, these are the things that our ancestors rejected. Our ancestors rejected them, but we, we happily and joyfully put those shackles on our heads and say, this is who we are. These are the same people, right? The same people that took us as slaves, the same people right that still don't acknowledge us that they still don't rate us and all of that so this protest for me is not just about it's not just about you know removing people like um what they call the tunubu and his gang because the corruption in nigeria is not just the political class no. there's the religious ones the at least the banks the media houses all of these people contribute to the the, the problems of that geographical location oh. right we want to be able to say, because, I mean, Maegu, you don't have to head, do you? Yes, you are there day in, day out, right? Telling people things, okay? You, you cannot tell me that we don't have the brains, we don't have the human resources or the human capital to put the, that particular region on the right track. These people are not brighter than us. People, these people are not wiser than us, right? There's nothing that makes them better than us. So me, this protest, and I want it to happen well, with every fiber of my being, is for us to actually, you know, be our true selves. Because we're not That's our exactly. true selves. You know, we're not, hmm. we're not our real selves. You know, we are still being led. You know, yesterday, I there was something I neglected to mention. A lot of people were talking about Tunubu as being a strategist. Tunubu is no strategist. No, he's, not. he's not a strategist. People understand that this Tinubu is a CIA asset from day one. And whatever he's doing, he's being led by them because this is the exact situation they want Africa to be in with these kind of corrupt leaders because it allows them, whether we like it or not, to carry on, you know, taking more from the, from the continent than, than they will ever give to us, okay? Everything that Tinubu does, He's been directed. He's not a strategist in any way, shape, or form. And that is why they have the boldness to do the things that they do. People talk about Shehitu. He knows where his father's power is from. Mm -hmm. Okay. He knows who are, who are his father's real backers. Okay. So he can he knows what he can do and what like he can get to do. Someone who was talking about him and said, Oh, he's a young person. Can't he advise his dad? I said, He's a product of a corrupt father. So where, is he learn, <laughs> where is he going to learn morality from to now teach his father? Where? From who? Even, even if he had any moral fiber or whatever, the fact that he has been, he is the way he is, he has been a beneficiary of Sinubu's uh, uh, ill-gotten wealth and everything. And the truth is, he knows who his father's people are. So he's not going to be advising anybody any, 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 to tell, oh, daddy, why don't you do this and do that? He, he can't. He doesn't have the ability to do so. So nobody should be looking at people like Shei Tunubu and the rest to try and change things around. That's not going to happen. It shouldn't be a point of okay? reference. I mean, that's it shouldn't be a point of reference. They're all the so part of the people that we need to get rid of so that they should not have any kind of influence going they forward. Are not innocent. You know? I said that yesterday. I said their children are not innocent. So when people no, say they're not. their children are of it, are you joking? Their children are not innocent. They are in on it. You just have they're to see how involved they are too. Yeah. So whatever comes so, from their fathers or their mothers will surely touch their she children. She them. Yes. She comes from them. And then, for, 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 you know, if you're talking about a baby, I can understand where you're coming from. She is a grown-ass man. He's married. He's got kids. He's a proper beneficiary that, of his, so, of his so, father's so, illnesses. Somebody that uh, turned off, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Lekito Gate uh, b bot light. So those people who witnessed the, uh, the protests at the Lekito Gate, right? We used to use that. Oh. Uh, like, you still have b there. People will be watching the whole display. They were using the light. The day they wanted to carry out this massacre, eh? they turned it off. off, including the billboard. Everywhere went dark and, and started the shooting. And this is the same person that you are hoping will advise his father. Nobody Please let us stop talking. Thank you. Okay? Eh? So, yeah, let me. Let, I don't know if other people are going to be able to call, but I just thought, you know, let me just share that. Half time is so up. <laughs> yeah, you have five minutes. Still have something to say, right? <laughs> No, 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 my I've said it. I've said it. Yeah, Brilliant. That's me. Thank you so, so much. I charm. Uh, and you, everyone man. else, too. Okay. You have a wonderful night.
okay? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Now that's a charm, and I want to quickly say a very big thank you to all of us, okay? Uh, Yishao, Sir Rashid, Rishao, thank you so much. I got your message. God bless you. That's so generous. So this evening, let me give you the let me give you the feedback, okay? So uh, this evening, before we start uh, the program, this evening, I walked in here with uh, a balance sheet of uh, four hundred and twenty pounds as part of what I raised from my targeted uh, two thousand pounds. And this evening, I think uh, I am going to be leaving with. I'll start with the GoFundMe. How much have we got uh, from GoFundMe? Minus Cecilia's uh, eighty-five pounds. So that simply means that uh, we got. I'm going to. Uh, 17 plus, uh, oh, Samaru Bajumo, that's you again. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Let me even put it on the screen. I should put it on the screen so that you see it. Everyone that turned up my generous, do my generous donors, right? 50, 50, 100, 200 pounds. 200 pounds plus 17 pounds. That's 217 pounds. Uh, then we owe Persilia gets our money back. 85 pounds, uh, okay, by Tuesday. Please. Let me know if you have done what you have to do, okay? So that then gives us on the on the GoFundMe. So we have 217 pounds. Brilliant. And then as of uh, GoFundMe, on uh, PayPal, let me, let me see what we've got. So I just got something right there. And that, that takes uh, my total, uh, yeah, I have 580 pounds. So 580 pounds plus 200 pounds, 780 pounds. Plus 217 pounds, 217, let's even say 220 pounds, 780. That means I've actually made 1,000 pounds. I've made 50% of what, I, what I'm trying to raise. We go again tomorrow. Hmm? Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Celia, let me know if you did get that back. And if you don't get it back, I could make an arrangement and uh, possibly send it to you and say, leave it. Okay. I could work that out and send you the cash. Just tell me where you want it, right? So don't don't press yourself and don't pressure yourself, okay? If you're unable to get it back by canceling it, let me know. I'll get you the money back. Not this one. I'll just have to send you another one. Eh? Take care of yourself, okay? And everyone else, thank you. I'm going to see you tomorrow because it's going to be another day. I may not have a... We may not have our Sunday sermon tomorrow, okay? But we will definitely have our evening time. And to the union leaders, Yoruba union leaders, we have a meeting tomorrow. You shall receive the notice. I mean, you shall receive the invite. To all other members of the temple, thank you for uh, spending your evening with me again. Okay. And if you joined us at Midway, please go back and watch this. It's quite interesting. And I've been told everyone should enjoy the rest of their evening. Good night. My Eguna wa mo, la mo do 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 do. My Eguna ya ri, na ye bi number one. My Eguna wa mo, la mo do 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 do.